Howdy folks, it's a bit of a sequel to last week's video where I took stock rear coupe coil springs and put them in the rear of the 91 Vert to see if it would lower the rear end of this car at all. If you missed this video, I'll give you a link for it right here. The results I think are pretty neat. While I was under the car filming that video, I had to undo the shocks, right? So I could drop the rear end down. Well, while I did that, I happened to grab a hold of the passenger side shock and compressed it. How to tell if your shocks are bad. Yep, they're bad. I'm like, there's nothing there. Like they're literally there for show. So I wanted to do a bit of a how-to for you on how to change the rear shocks on your Fox body. In this case, it's gonna be vert focused, but for the most part, all three of the models are exactly the same. It's just where you access the top bolt for your shocks a little different, but stand by. I'm gonna show you how to change the rear shocks on your Fox body. While the car is on the ground, we want to access the nuts on the top of each one of the shock studs. In this case, I'm going to be going through the cab to get at them. You could also access them through the trunk if you want to pull down all your felt and plastic. With a coupe, you need to go through the trunk. With a hatch, you also have the option of through the hatch or through the cab. We're in the back seat of the vert and I'm going to show you the nuts we need to access on the tops of the shock studs. So. Passenger side is right here. Driver's side is right here. Now the way that we're gonna loosen these off is, you're gonna need yourself a 15 mil wrench and a quarter inch wrench or maybe a set of vice grips. And essentially what you're gonna do is use the quarter inch wrench on the top of this stud and hold it steady and back off this 15 mil nut. All right, the car is now jacked up in the air. We need to access the bottom bolts of these shocks. So what you need to do is secure the body of the car with some jack stands so that we can let the rear end droop down and access the bottom bolts of the shock. Now you can access the bottom bolts of the shock with the rear end up, but you're gonna be fighting the new shocks going back in. You're gonna to have to compress them to get them into that lower bolt. So dropping your rear end is a heck of a lot easier to get the new shocks in. So now that's the bottom of those shocks, which you don't really wanna use the, the bottom of them. You wanna have a little bit of pressure off of them so you can access the bottom bolts. Okay, I've already broke these loose so you don't have to listen to me swearing, but take yourself an 18 mil and a 15 mil and bust these loose. You can take the bolt out and out comes your shock. While these shocks are out, I want to give you guys an idea of just what makes these things completely shot. So first and foremost, these should extend back to extended format, which they don't. You have to force them. Plus this one takes like absolutely no force to compress and extend. That's off the passenger side. This is the driver's side. It doesn't extend. It is a little harder to compress, but it's still on its way out as well. These should extend on their own and they should be difficult to compress because the whole idea behind a shock absorber is it takes the jounce out of the spring. So these things, when you hit them hard, like this one's still kind of doing its job, it should stop you from doing that Cadillac waterbed style compression of the springs. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this one. The whole reinstall is obviously just everything in reverse. So get your new shock up and stabbed through into the cab, get that top nut on and torqued down, come underneath, run your bolt through the bottom half of your shock, tighten her all down to spec, 
and you're out cruising in your Fox again. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please share it. That's why I do these videos to help the community out. So thanks so much for tagging along. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye for now.